Psychologically, just a little bit one up there, I suppose, um, winning the toss and uh, having a bowl first. They know that they were going to chase whatever India gets on the board. Um, interesting, but uh, yeah, I suppose it's a, it's, a, it's a fresh change for Zimbabwe. This is interesting, very interesting, because Andy Blichnow is going to bowl uh, the first over. But it's a very picturesque cricket ground. Well bowled, a little bit of bounce there for him just outside that off stump. And the Indians off the mark. Some hospitality marquee tents there on the uh, left hand side. That area used to be uh, a hockey field. No! Hey for being turned into uh, a rugby field. I'm going to say that wasn't a bad start for Blicklout. Just one run from it. It's uh, one for now. But he's a deep thinker about angles in particular. He's always going on about, about angles that uh, suit his style and he, of course he bowls this leg stump line which is difficult it's always a high risk thing but it can go wrong of course well that isn't a very good delivery it was a pretty good shot actually uh, because they've got those two men saving one on the onside Roddy, just walk on it walk under the edge the uh, shot that had to be played was lofted if you wanted runs and that's exactly what he did very good shot so it'll be interesting to see how long this field lasts no 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 that's where the Indians actually like it. They love uh, whipping the ball away on the onside. They're really very good at it. So you really need to keep it just outside off stump. They don't miss many opportunities to score on the onside. And of course, uh, see the captain S.K. Rayner there. Three overs gone. Seven without loss. One of Price's theories is that uh, if you can put a little bit of doubt in the batsman's mind about if you plug away at leg stump and then bowl just a couple of inches outside leg stump, you put the batsman in two minds as to whether to look for the wide. In other words, leave it, look for the wide, get him in. So it's a pretty good start this by Zimbabwe. Another wide. So you can see the pressure building here just a little bit. That is uh, on the batsman. At the moment, uh, the run rate is only averaging just over two and over. So this has been a relatively slow start. Ooh, that was close. Might have been a bit of bat in that one. Nine for none. No. So that's ten balls he's received without a run. There's the single down to third man. That's the uh, that's the area that uh, most players in one day cricket uh, get singles. They just run the ball away. And the dot balls dominating the scene here. Only four balls bowled so far have been scored off. Oh, and that's beaten the fieldsman. That's where they they've always been very good. Nice and wristy through the onside. And. Uh, just going through for a leisurely two there. There doesn't seem to be much of a sense of urgency out there at the moment. It's 13 for no wicket. Very watchfully played. I think that uh, the coach or the captain might have to send a message out to these two. This is far too slow. So Murli VJ four now off 19. This is the self-same bloke who played one of the most incredible knocks in the IPL. Smashed it to every corner of the ground. Watchfully played, straight back to the bowler, the end of the over, it's 18 for none. Just the one down to uh, Madon. Morning, Pom. 
a team may then look at things and think oh hold on we've got to get a move on we we can't continue in this vein and when the batsman does try to go for the big shot or a couple of big shots loses his wicket a little, little grip there straightened a bit and what that does it it just transfers the pressure from the fellows who've had the opportunity to bat up front and assess conditions to the ones who are sitting in the change room Nicely in the gap. Louis Sal just reeling them off. Nice shot, very nice shot. Short, wide, and cut away, and will go all the way to the boundary for four. Very welcome boundary, insofar as India are concerned. Width offered by Utsaya. Oh, that's a good shot. He struck it really well and got it in the gap as well. Too short from Utsaya. So a couple of boundaries in the over. Shot. It was on the pads and he helped it on its way. Dinesh Kartik and he'll get four for it. 50 up for India. On the left hand side, look at that. 10 hey, buddy, overs, 26 buddy. runs, and they've just about five overs on, on the right hand side now, and they've scored 26 more. It just quickened a bit. Kids from school, good to see them in. Hope they're not bunking school and uh, brought their lunch with you. That runs. He's played that late. He's got a couple. Really, Murli Vijay. 19 of 48 is hard to understand because I've seen this uh, young man really explode into some very exciting stroke play during the IPL. Can they afford to lose one of the wickets? It's in the air and I think they may have their man. Yes, they do. Just as I was saying that they can ill afford to lose it from here, lose a wicket here. Both the set batsmen, one of them is gone and it is Dinesh Karthik. Maybe it, has it been bent on this? Yes, he did. So I can't understand why Karthik also stood. I mean, it came on the middle of the plate. Gone for 33, it's 58 for one. Virat Kohli is an exciting young player. He got uh, a wonderful 80 odd in the last game. Let's take another closer look. Where did that hit? Somewhere on the glove or at the top of the bat. Take another look. Jeremy, you can try and decipher it for me. Yes, now let's have a look again. There we go. Definitely top end of the bat. You can see it came off the bat clearly there there are the deliveries that uh, balls faced by him but you know the other thing is that when you get into a defensive mode you also are providing a license to the opposition to bowl their best and he's gone there it is Murli Vijay at last tried to force the issue a straight delivery played inside the line and uh, that delivery has put him out of his misery Here we go, down the track he advances, he misses it, and now he gets stumped. So what a good uh, week of the season, the Zimbabweans are happy. He just walked in uh, at the fall of Murli Vijay's wicket, and then got the wicket. It was well bowled. And uh, just missing a straight one, almost. Oh, oh. Yes, baby. Well, 63 for two. Round of three games between these sides is over. We're into the second, that's in the air, and... Just too quick for uh, the fielder at slip. It's going to run away for four. It's never easy uh, when there's a slash off the back foot. It is a very difficult catch to take. They either stick or they go for four. And in this occasion, on this occasion, it went for four. Oh, I tell you what, he and he had a hard slash at it. They normally say it's short, quiet. If you have a go, he gave himself a bit of room. Have a go and slash hard. Mazakatsa had no chance here. But at least it's refreshing to see some intent from the Indians. 
Listen, you know, why I like him so much is that I met him here in South Africa when I used to work in, in cricket. And uh, that photo, um, on the end of the year when India tours South Africa. Keep up! Keep up, B! That's uh, two good runs. What are What are buddy? This partnership has yielded 17 from 31. So things not off the shoulder. There's the edge. There goes off the shoulder. Goes straight up in the air. And Tatenda Taibu takes a simple catch in the end. Happiness is for the Zimbabweans and Kohli. Gone for 18. India 86 for three. He's not going to be on strike. There's a look at his career. Going for the single, he's got to go to the keeper. Oh, the throw's just a touch too high. Suresh Reina wasn't going for that single. He was waiting for a call. And when it did come, may just have been a bit late. Yeah, he's got a good arm, Elton Chikambura. But unfortunately, the throw way too high. Might have got in. Ended up diving. That would have warmed him up. So here he Reina watching the ball. Instead of just running. Oh, he's got to go back, got to go back, oh, I think that may be gone, it's a direct hit, and umpire Rudy Kutsun goes upstairs, it's going to be very, very close, Suresh Reina had to put the dive in. So Andy Blithnett is a fielder at cover, and uh, looks out to me, half an inch out, and this is would be a big blow for India. Yep, the, the bat is in the air there. And the ball has come off the stump, so you can see the bail of the top just going up. There, the bail's up, and, well, it's short of his ground. And the message has been relayed to umpire Rudy Kutsin, and also to Suresh Reina. He's got to go. India, 92 for four. And then Andy Blichnote with a wonderful piece of fielding here, but the calling. Thought there was a single there, set off, and was sent back correctly so. Mid-wicket was in business, it went pretty much straight to him. And Blichnot picks it up and straight onto the stumps. He's looking for confirmation there from Rudy Kutzen. Rudy, Rudy! Had to go upstairs, did so, and sent the man on his way. So doing the right things here, Zimbabwe. Jadeja, left-hander, replacing the left-handed captain. Yeah, what they want in is for a partnership to form and sufficiently. Yeah. Fielded. He'd expect himself to stop that because he's going in that direction in his follow through. Oh, so far, four balls bowled, just the single. Needs to put pressure on Jadeja. Indian batsmen have uh, struggled in the series. They need to get that lower order in nice and early. Looped up that one. Oh, bit of a mix up. Got him, got him. That's him, he's gone. Another run out. Oh, fantastic work in the field. But what about the calling? Terrible, terrible stuff for India. It's the man who has had a couple of centuries in this triangular so far. Yeah, terrible. Jadeja's hit the ball again. Ball watching from India. Absolutely no call. The captain at uh, cover, Alton Chukumbura, lobs it to Krima. We mentioned he's a good fielder. Easy work for him. Nice lob. And uh, Sharma's good half meter short. So trouble for India. Two run outs now in the space of two overs. He's gone for 13. 95 for five. The average is 21. Have a look at that strike rate. 106. There was a chance. He slopped it over the bowler's head. It's all happening here. We mentioned that it looked like a good right. batting wicket. And uh, two runs from that over. More importantly, a run out for Zimbabwe. 28 gone now. 96 for five. There you go. Elton Chigumbura. Very good piece of fielding. He had to work out which end to throw because he knew there was a mix up. But with the eye on the ball, still must look up and work out where to go. Worked it out perfectly and got a really good throw in. 
It's just table shouting. All right, ready? Oh, Jerome had a good first game, debut in One Day Internationals as um, an umpire that was in Blue Eye. Ready, ready! Nicely played, just one. Good, Pito, good, Pito! There's a look at that LBW shot and a virtual has it hitting leg stump pretty much. Ah! A big shout, but that's not going to be out. Rudy Kutzen shaking his head straight away. Down the league side, maybe pitching going straight on and turning enough to uh, miss the leg stump. This is a uh, look at the last one. Uh, hitting leg stump. So just clipping and uh, benefit of the doubt, a bit of confidence. Oh, hello. Tell you what, there's uh, an issue with the hamstring there, or the groin, or something. Because in an attempt to sweep, he's slipped. 30 gone, 101 for 5. This is a look at what happened in the last over. Oh, goodness, that just looks painful looking at it. Well, we've, we've seen the Dilshan shot, and now we've seen the Yusuf Patan shot. No! Oh, sent back. Yeah, well, a uh, few jitters about because of the couple of run-ups that have uh, first four 20 runs yeah, yeah, he's done very well he's uh, found a bit of rhythm he's picked up a wicket good work from Taibu the way we throw from the captain chicken very very slow very tentative ah! very unsure of themselves so far what out? And, the, and the Zimbabweans have gotten better and better as you'd expect another appeal turned down but all of them really very close they're getting closer to getting this all-important breakthrough they're five down India if they get another one now Zimbabwe they'll feel they they can limit them to less than 50 overs shout at all from uh, Krima I just thought it might have bounced a bit more mm. that's a, is a very good shout well there have been three of those in the last two overs well, they've been close, a little iffy, a little doubtful, and that doubt's gone in favor of the batsman. But all of them have been shown to be hitting. So India living dangerously at the moment. Too short. There's a man out there, but he's uh, too square. And a much, much welcome and uh, relieving boundary for India. Bring up Nelson, 111 for five. But he's bowled rather well. This is another one of those frugal overs of his, uh, five dot balls. He has been prized out by the short delivery in the IPL a number of times. There's the short one. Well, ends in a maiden. 33 gone, 111 for five. And it's a slowish wicket, but not so slow that you can't get anything away. Short delivery, and he's got a couple. I can understand this partnership. Just take a look at this. Almost going to hand. Now that would have been uh, tragic from India's perspective because they still have a lot of num a lot of overs to play. I can understand this partnership uh, rebuilding a bit and feeling the heat and feeling tense. This is the last recognized pair. Well, that was in the air and that was uh, so close to that fielder. Could have gone to hand because he played it on the rise, played a square drive. It may well have gone to hand. a couple now that have just been tantalizingly close very carefully tousled to look like that oh. short pulled away there's the power of Yusuf Patan finally India have burst into life at the end of the 36th over it's 126 for five just take a look at this short and just that flick of the wrist it's the uncocking of the wrist at the right time along with that swing of his powerful man and there it was, it was a huge hit. Other than the 
four in the circle. He's got five in at the moment. Ah! Now is that close? That's kept low. Yes, it is. Close enough for the umpire to raise his finger. And Price knows he's really done the job that his captain wanted from him. Big wicket. Huge wicket, in fact. Yusuf Patan gone. Let's take a closer look at that. Straight in, just a hint of straightening, but it kept low and uh, it was headed to the stumps. I think the umpire got it right on that occasion. Great surprise if we, uh, we don't see this ball <laughs> hitting the stumps. Ray Price is 33, going on 16. He's got all the enthusiasm of a young teenager and uh, good with good reason. Yes, a baton gone. And watch out for Amit Mishra. Oh, is that close as well? Very, very close, but maybe just a hint of inside edge. Let's take another look at the Yusuf Patan dismissal. He was, he's a tall man on the front foot. That's why he was a little disappointed with the decision, but it was hitting the stumps. Only just. Spinners are testing them, that's for sure. Well, that's in the air and this will be out court yes it will no trouble at all he's gone down the wicket oh and that one's just over the top of uh, the square legs head but not a good delivery short it deserved to be punished why would you want to bowl short when you're bowling to the batsman that is the jaja but you've got to toss it up it's important the mindset must be to get the other three wickets as soon as possible. Oh, nice to get there, they've got to more than double what they've done so far in terms of run rate, and they're running out of wickets. Well, we speak to the manufacturers of golf balls. That's down the ground, that's a big six. He's hit that all the way. Yep, over the top it goes. Boy, that was really out of the middle of the bat. The intent was there from the moment uh, he started to go down the pitch, and this one just kept going. Probably uh, 80 odd meters. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, he's hit it hard. France down the track quite nicely. Got to the pitch of it and just went through with a shot. There we go. There's some intent. Yeah, that's much better. It's probably because they're seven wickets down, they don't want to miss out on the thing. They've got the fielders up now because this is a batting power play so an opportunity here yeah, for this sort of shot straight down the ground beautifully struck again and that's over the uh, boundary as well so another six that's the way to hit them hit them hard and straight <laughs> Sparks got in at the ground it's a working day as though Harari but he just picked that up neatly gave it the kitchen sink didn't he in the screws, out the ground. Good shot. Oh, that was a bad bounce for him. You can imagine if, um, if Saywak was here, for example, opening, opening the batting, he's bound to wind up. Yes, he has, and he's hit this one hard as well. Down the ground, it'll go for four, I think, will it? No. Didn't quite middle it. So two more, but uh, he certainly is concentrating on hitting the ball straight over the bowler's head. Into the gap, and uh, so they will get two more. So they're on target here to score perhaps 190. Well, that's over the infield and that'll bounce down to the boundary for four that's much better no, two men up behind square all you got to do is get it over that uh, that infield and it's going to be four number three in the rankings that's good. It's in the air and yet oh he's dropped it okay. well he came charging right. at the ball it was uh, very f flat and it was firmly struck that's a big miss. It's 169 for seven. Here we go again. Down the wicket. As a big hit. This one he should have caught quite comfortably. This level. Oh. Square on the boundary. And that's in the air and just wide of uh, 
the mid-wicket fieldsman will go for four so valu valuable runs being scored here now that was actually a full toss straight back and dropped yes I think he might have thought it was coming back to him a little quicker than it was that's two catches in two overs oh, I could have taken that Well, this will be close. He's missed the stumps. I think if he'd have hit the stumps, it would have been another run out. He's very quick to tend to Taibu getting uh, out from behind those stumps. Did everything right, except was just a little offline. You're quite correct. A direct hit. Oh, it would have been gone for all money in the world. Good effort from Tem Tain to Tembu. Well, that one's uh, in the air. This will be caught surely. Surely, yes, he's got him. It was up there for a long time. They've got the dropsies a little bit, uh, Zimbabwe. So that uh, brings an end to the Dinda innings. He had to have a go, I suppose. We're into the uh, 45th over now. This is the dismissal again. Went up a long way. Yes, he did. It did. Taylor had some work to do here. Yeah. Came around nicely and got underneath it. Well positioned and caught it nicely. At last a catch after two drop catches early on. So, Tinder gone for 16, 176 for eight. 176 for eight. Takes one. <laughs> We know that it's going to be across the left-handed batsman and Chadeja is showing frustration but then he needed to show more intent. He took that single, he wasn't really looking for boundaries and he's getting frustrated at the non-striking end. Well they've made it. They had to be quick. Well bowled. The slower delivery on leg stump. Very well bowled. Well that's 50 for Jadeja. Just a single. Again on the first delivery. And now just 11 deliveries to play. He's got himself to the half century. He'll be very happy with that. Rafindra Jadeja. But he wants to try and manipulate the strike just a bit more and well that's in the air and uh, there's a fielder getting under it and he takes it with ease Masakadza it is and Andy Blicknote has just reward he's got onto the wickets column as well and that's a big one that is Jadeja who could have done damage with a couple of boundaries in these last uh, few balls but that wasn't to be he outthought him, bowled the right length, kept it short, and Jadeja had no chance whatsoever. Yeah, look to get it away, had to play the big shot, but that's a very good catch. Had to run in. Hamilton Masakata did so and made absolutely no mistake. Jadeja gone for 51. Looking to get back for the second, and they should. They do comfortably. Last ball. A slower delivery and I suspect he's going to be run out. No, he isn't. Misses the stumps. India get another. At the end of 50, India are 194 for 9. Now, they're well short of where they would have wanted to be. Albeit on a wicket which has been slow. It will continue to play slow. Lots of starts but no real finishes except for Jadija getting 51 of 72. But their problems were at the top when they... That's uh, misfielded again. We've seen some of those from the Indian team today. So two more to Brendan Taylor. They've been and then uh, a very average shot against Sri Lanka. He's got himself in here. He's got 23 not out. And some ball. We need him to almost bat through and to assure that they get home. 
That's a big shot. It's in the air. No fielder out there. Half a dozen. Great shot from uh, Brendan Taylor. Absolutely superb shot. He plays the pull shot uh, wonderfully. Well. And pull shot. Well, there it goes. He doesn't half play it well. It uh, was short and straight away he was onto it. Just watch this. Keeps his head nice and still. It's an almost a short arm jab. Knew straight away that it was going all the way. Or uh, sitting alongside us upstairs here. Oh, that's well played. Beautifully played. What a good cover drive that was. We've uh, heard a lot about uh, this not the ball not coming onto the bat here. Mum and Dad are pretty happy with that one, I'm sure. Yeah, good shot. Just uh, leaning on it, but a good stride in. And uh, Oja, the man at mid-off, unable to get across. Slightly over-pitched, but uh, still had to be hit. And uh, Brendan Taylor doesn't need a second invitation to hit that for four. And worked. Bowled a little bit slower. That's over the top. Couple of bounces, four more. Oh boy, this is starting to look good for Zimbabwe now. Good striking. That was the uh, feature of that shot. Didn't try and hit it too hard again. Matsukatsa just coming down the pitch there, keeping himself nice and in control, and then uh, really hitting through it. That came out of the meat of the bat. And then a short one, and that one outside off stump, that one's going to the boundary. That'll be four. Well, if Zimbabwe managed to win in 40 overs, they'll go to nine points, and they'll be well on top. And uh, almost guarantee themselves a spot. In fact, I think they do, they guarantee themselves a spot in the final. got it away it's an under edge it'll uh, it'll certainly test the fieldsman will it get there oh well done just managed to drag that one back that is good work we've been talking about the Indians probably being a little bit weak in the field he's done well there he's uh, only saved the single enjoying some of the local fare looks like chicken to me Oh, great shot. Very well played again. Won't quite uh, get to the boundary for six, but uh, bounces a couple of times for four. Well, they're certainly peppering that area down at Long On. 66 for none. This was the last ball of the over. We spoke about Taylor not quite getting to the pitch earlier. This time he did just that. Got right to the pitch. It's a free hit out there. There's no fielders back. Didn't need to hit it for six. All clear any fielders. Uh, from Zimbabwe's perspective more importantly of three deliveries make that another one in fact this time uh, it'll probably be four will it it's slowing up uh, it won't quite make it bad running from Taylor he assumed that they had run for four but, uh, a bit of a schoolboy error there it's not the fastest between the wickets Brennan Taylor is on 49 off 59 deliveries. There you go. There it is. It's a no ball to boot. There'll be a free hit. But wonderful achievement for Brennan Taylor who gets a half century in his 100th match. It's his 19th one day international 50. Congratulations from his batting partner, Masakadza. Looked to go for the big hit, didn't hit that too well. Straight to the man. A long off, just one then. He's got it through this time. Wonderfully struck and it's gone all the way to the boundary. Four more runs. You know, barely a year ago, Pom, Brendan Taylor didn't sweep. Wasn't in his armory. Can I say wouldn't or couldn't? Which one do I mean? He didn't. He 
didn't. Um, but it's uh, it's now something that he's uh, has accepted that he absolutely has to have in his armory. May well have been off the pad. We'll wait for the signal. It's a slick vice for four. No, it's not. Oh, and he's, he's got a hold of the rugby ball. No, it's his, it's his helmet. It was a rugby ball. Yeah, wonderful to see the kids playing around at, at the cricket. I like that. The keeper's wearing the helmet, but not the batsman. This is uh, as meek a performance, I must tell you, from uh, India as we've seen for uh, many years. Kyle Jarvis on the right there, young up-and-coming Zimbabwean fast bowler. That's a wonderful shot. Hasn't quite got to all of it. Looking to go inside out and managing to do so. Only two from it. Do something extravagant. As that one and it's gone over him that's a bad bounce it almost took his head off Suresh Raina, yeah, it, uh, what happened there it just seemed as if it bounced in front of him well he snapped this with disdain oh and it, then it bounced and uh, it nearly took Raina's head off hit one of those practice wickets uh, and it's quite hard there in the air for a while but it's true and they're going to get a couple nicely swept come back for a second and before oh, what do you say captain is standing to silence Take another look at that uh, effort. He tried, should have been stopped at this level. Hand going just over the ball, eventually yielding another boundary. Hasn't had a good day, Yadav. That is in the air, and this fielder getting under it, and he's taken it. That's well taken. Well, that is Taylor. So that's a big wicket. 74 is Taylor. I think he just, just chipped it. The ball just holding up that little bit and Pragyan Oja has a wicket. Uh, Taylor could really see angry with that. And uh, just chipped it over. It carried. Good catch. So that was uh, Murali BJ taking the catch. And... Uh, Oja deserves a wicket. 128 for one. That's been the feature of this entire tournament. The side chasing has always ended up the winner. With that single a loud cheer. 50 for Masakatsa. He's a happy fellow. Deserves it. Well played. Three games prior to this, uh, the chasing side has won. Oh, that's big. That's huge. That's coming into us. No, it's gone over us. Oh, I was nearly taking a vase of action here. Yeah. That was a good hit, that. Come under that and hit that out the ground. That's a really powerful hit and it was going and going when it hit the roof over us it was still traveling I reckon that'll be over a hundred meters yeah it'll have to be interesting to see did it go over the roof no, just hit the top there and another and another one that's out of here as well 
Six more. They're not even going to wait for 40. Absolutely. I mean, the intentions are clear from Zimbabwe. They mean business. Another good hit. This time he went on one knee. Look how he got hold of it. He's a strong lad. Good shot from Coventry. He's quick onto those. Anything that's remotely short or remotely full, he'll get after it. It's a strong lad too and he hits it a mile. Of essence here. And another. This time he's dug out a perfectly well bowled Yorker and he's got four for it. So another big over. Nine from it. 31 gone. It's 159 for one. This was the last ball. It was well bowled Yorker length and he made room for himself and squeezed it through the covers for four. Two of them diving for it but in vain. It's been a bit of a change in the commentary box. They've certainly played quite the perfect game today. In the air and that's been taken. That is a sensational take. Beautifully taken. In the air to his right. And Virat Kohli it is. The man who took that catch. It was going away from him. Just in the end that grasping it in his fist. Well, have a look at this at full stretch and in the air so uh, I've got to tell you another two inches and he wouldn't have uh, he wouldn't have caught that for sure that was brilliant work it's the sort of thing that uh, had it happened a little earlier would well have changed the uh, direction of this match very well played by Hamilton Matsukatsa out for 66 so that's now 161 for two that middle stop. well it's captain Elton Chigambura who's walked in predictably uh, let's have another look at this catch really beautifully caught have a look at this wonderful catch Kohli getting congratulated there by his colleagues that's uh, what you need every now and again ah! is that close no it isn't over declared it's 32 gone it's 162 for two There's nobody on the onside. They're going to be looking for the second as the fielder comes in from the boundary. Easy to. Couldn't have hoped to improve on this performance. That's in the air. But the fielder will not reach it except on the second bounce. And Chigambura is extremely quick. A little, well, so sort of not an argument really. Um, Dinesh Kartik. This time in the air and the fielder under it and he takes it with ease. Yusuf Patan, it was in his lap and uh, yeah, so they, they are going for it. They have to make a few sacrifices in that endeavor and that's just what's happened to Coventry. Didn't he take it uh, ever so casually? I know it was a straightforward catch in the deep, but just watch this. This is the way not to stress. Just leans back, takes it about three or four meters off the line. No trouble at all. Nicely taken, and uh, that's the end of Coventry. Out for 20 of 23, it's now 170 for 3. Average of 27 plus 1250s, 200 vastly experienced. That's gone over the top. That will probably reach. It is slowing up. That's a good retrieval there by Suresh Raina, limiting it to 3. Well, that's beautifully executed. The slower delivery, but this time offline. Room outside the off stump, and he's latched on very quickly, Chigambura. Oh, yes, on the up and through the offside. He checked his shot as well, didn't he? Just paused on the back lift, and then uh, you watch this. Pause, and then whack. He's a powerful man, too, in the first match, and here they are now on the threshold of beating him in the second. Ah! Oh, that's close. No, perhaps he got a long way across. Oh gosh. Maybe they just turned a fraction and took it outside off stump. Two is the call and they'll get two with ease. They might even get the third. As they do.
Yep, it's not going for India, and then there he goes again. Suresh Raina is uh, a bit frustrated about this. He was certainly in the first match. Right so far. That's gone in the air for a while, but he'll get only one. And they're going for the second. And they are quick enough to beat the throw. Well fielded there by Raina to cover up against Brazil. I think that's it. Four to end the run chase. Taibu does it with style. Zimbabwe very, very happy. Congratulations all around. And they really deserve it because they've played, I keep saying, the perfect one day international from their perspective. Stifled India completely from the first ball. Limited them to just 194 in their 50 overs and have come out very positively and have succeeded in winning it with 11.4 overs to spare. So the bonus point is theirs and so is the net run rate which has taken quite a fillip. So yes, they've got um, everything to smile about. There's no doubt about that. They've played a really good game of cricket today and this will, uh, I should think, ensure that Zimbabwe gets through to the finals. And uh, that is uh, what happened as far as the Zimbabwe side were concerned. I thought Taylor...